What's going on guys? So I know it's kind of late for what I normally do as far as putting the weekly rotation out. It's going to be coming out on Wednesday when it typically would come out Sunday or Monday. I was out of town. I didn't have all the fragrances with me to film the weekly rotation, but I'm back in town now and it's week number 145 and there's one that I just kept going back to because it's just such an easy wear and I want to talk to you guys about it. So like I said, it's week number 145. Let's discuss and stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday is one that I just did a full review on. I actually wore this all day long. This was my scent choice during the day and out the shower. It is the all-time classic Polo Sport from Ralph Lauren. Hard to beat. I mean, I know people will say, oh, it's I got to get a vintage bottle. Okay, you hunt down a vintage bottle. I'm totally fine with the new one. Five, six hours. Smells pretty much like it used to. Doesn't smell really different to me from what I remember it smelling like, so I'm good with it. And it's, you know, right around 40 bucks for 75 ml to walk down memory lane with this 90s, early 2000s classic. It's solid stuff. I still think it's a very good fragrance even to this day for the scent profile. I think the performance that I get from it works just fine, like I said, in the five to six hour range. It's not super loud. It's aromatic, it's soapy, it's citrus. It's minty and green. There's some florals. There's a lot of things going on. It's a typical 90s scent. It smells quintessential 90s. It's good stuff. For lack of a better term, it's just some good stuff, and it was an absolute joy to wear this past week and spend a little bit of time with it. If you want to hear more, make sure to check out my full review. During the day and out the shower, on Sunday was Polo Sport from Ralph Lauren. Moving into Monday, this is the one I kept going back to. I actually wore it three times this week. Uh, I still need to do a full review on it, but we are talking about Glacio Essence from the Bulgari Man line. Glacio Essence. I didn't know I would like it as much as I have been. I've really been enjoying this one. And look, it's nothing special. I would not call this a special scent in any way. But it has this airy, slightly aquatic, watery feel clean soft wood smell like it's nothing complicated about the scent profile it's not deep and super interesting but it's just easy to grab and and just wear just wear it with whatever it goes with everything regardless of the temperature outside regardless of what you're wearing this works at the gym long lasting for the gym admittedly but it's not a really loud fragrance um great daytime casual Daytime work scent, evening wear, running errands. Hell, you could probably pull this off going to dinner. This stuff is actually better than I ever thought it would be. Uh, the color of the bottle is very fitting. It's a very light blue-esque, airy, watery type of smell. And they have this very distinctive clear wood synthetic note that's in here that offers this soft woody feel. It's a little bit of a soapy feel, but not quite a shower gel feel. It's very, very fresh and invigorating. This is such an uplifting scent. Let's, I kept going back to it, as you'll see throughout this video. I kept going back to it. I've just been really enjoying this one. I had bought it, did a first impression, and kind of shelved it for a while. And now I'm getting back to you know spending time with it. And I've really been digging this one. Get a sample and try this one if you haven't yet. It gets underwhelming reviews, but it's actually not a bad fragrance at all. I'm pretty happy to have this one during the day. Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. And then when I got up the shower, this was the night before I was traveling, so I did gave myself a good shave. And I went with the Zaharoff Signature Tabac Shave Set. This is the Aftershave Splash. Also have the Shave Soap, as well as I gave myself a few sprays of the fragrance. Gotta love the detailing on the stickers. One of my favorite cooler weather scents since it came out. This was what I wore the most at the beginning of the year, and this was gonna be one of my most worn fragrances to close this year out, I'm sure. Those of you that have smelled it, you know it's one of the better tobacco fragrances to have been released in a long, long time. Really high quality, classy type of tobacco scent. Really masculine, smells expensive, without being crazy expensive. I mean, it's, it's not some cheap designer, but it's also not some ridiculously high-priced luxury niche either. Uh, George definitely prices them right, in my opinion, because you get what you pay for. You get quality, you get performance, you get originality. 
it's hard to beat. Definitely get a sample and try this stuff. They do have shave sets available. Uh, also have the body lotion. I have the shower gel. I have a bar soap. I have a bunch of products for tobacco. So when I roll with tobacco out the shower to shave, I really do it up. And that's what I did this night. Out the shower, had a good shave, sprayed a few sh shots of the fragrance. was a Haroff Signature tobacco. Moving into Tuesday, this was actually travel day, and uh, I wanted something really enjoyable that's, I've kind of been itching to reach for this one more and more since I got it. Wife actually really, really likes this one. She, she could not stop telling me how good I smelled when I got in the car. Talking about the new Ralph's Club Parfum. The newest release, this was one of those blind buys that just kind of worked out. Now, the thing I can see people knocking this one for, which I kind of can, I definitely see where they're coming from, Projection's nothing special here. If you're looking for something that's going to reach out and grab people after about an hour, you might be out of luck depending on how it works on your skin, obviously. But on my skin, it sits pretty close. But damn, does it smell good. It's a warmer, smoother, and spicier, richer take on the original. Still has all those aromatics, the greens, that nice soapy lavender type of feel, that fresh cut lavender, uh, more of an herbal green lavender type of smell. But... Here you have a little bit of spice. I believe cardamom's in here. It has a little bit of a smoky nuance on my skin. It's kind of strange how it comes across that way. They don't give you that in the note breakdown. But it's much more warm and spicy overall, which I really dig, especially this time of year. And it just it sticks to my skin. It's a solid 8 to 10 hours on my skin. It's been clocking 8 plus hours every time I wear it. Um, like I said, the projection is just the thing that if you're looking for something that's going to reach out and grab somebody, after about an hour, hour and a half, at least in my experience, you might be disappointed with the projection, but it sure stays on the skin a really long time. It wears a bit closer, but you get a nice, radiant, smooth, rich scent bubble that's very, very enjoyable. This was perfect for travel day. I absolutely loved wearing it. Again, that's Ralph's Club Parfum, the newest release. And then when I got out the shower, I ended up going with this one again. I gave myself just three sprays for the hell of it. I wore it again that night. Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. I've just been enjoying it so much i just kept going back to it and reaching for it all throughout the week like i said get yourself a sample and try this one out the shower bulgari man glacial essence moving into wednesday might not be difficult to guess what i ended up going with but i decided to reach for it again bulgari man glacial essence like i said it's just it's so easy to just go for this one and not have to think about what you want to wear or pairing a scent with a certain apparel and wardrobe it just it works for everything. This is one of those, as they've been touted, dumb reach fragrances. This is definitely a great dumb reach fragrance. I kind of covered everything I really wanted to, so we'll blaze past all the other parts of this video that have this fragrance. But during the day, Bulgari Man Glacial Essence, and then actually out the shower that night as well, I rolled with it again. Moving into Thursday. So this is one that I was quite eager to bring with me. I haven't wore it in some time. It is such a great fragrance. It is Parfums de Marly, Percival. This is some good stuff right here, guys. Niche blue fragrance. Super powerful, sneaky beast. Because it's easy to go anosmic to this one. It will wear your nose out completely. And you won't realize it's as strong as it is. It's a little fruity. It's got some fresh greens, some soft woods. Like I said, there's some Ambrox in here as well. Some of those modern synthetics. It will remind you of fragrances like Mont Blanc Legend and... Um, Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce, without smelling exactly like them, this definitely smells like a much stronger and better quality take on that scent profile. This is definitely the one to go with. It is the most expensive of all of those. Obviously, if you have those, it can be kind of redundant, but this is one that I just love wearing. Uh, my wife loves when I wear this one. Also, she loves the scent profile. Compliment magnet type of stuff. And I say that, and outside of my wife... I haven't gotten a compliment in this wearing from somebody, actually, because I'm thinking, no, nobody mentioned how I smelled the day I wore this, but uh, it's really good stuff. More times than not, though, the chances are heightened. Obviously, that's not the most important thing, but, you know, when it's noteworthy, I bring it up to you guys, and this one, some really good stuff. Definitely sample worthy. I could see where some people would deem this not worth the money because it has a lot of synthetics. It doesn't really smell like a luxury niche fragrance. It smells like maybe a higher quality designer and it's priced at kind of a luxury niche. So I do get where people are coming from with that gripe, but I absolutely love it and I'm happy to have it. During the day, Parfums de Marley Percival. And then I got the shower, kind of switched it up. I went with a couple of shots of Signature Rosé from Zaharoff. 
I did bring this with me. I was in the mood for it. It can never go wrong. There's never a bad time to smell like this scent profile. <sighs> Smoky rose, rose incense, warm woods. It's a little sweet and sugary, but not too sweet. Just really, really good stuff. Out the shower, Zaharoff Signature Rosé. Moving into Friday, so I wore it out the shower the previous night, and during the day I decided to roll with it again with Zaharoff Signature Rosé. It's just another one of those fragrances that's so intoxicating, so addictive for me personally to smell on myself that it's easy to want to keep wearing it. Once you pull it out, once you spray it, you want to keep spraying it. You want to keep that sillage going. And uh, it was such an enjoyable experience the previous evening that I just, when I woke up the next day, I felt like it was the perfect scent choice for my day. And it absolutely was. It wasn't too hot of a temperature outside. I want to say it was in the high 70s, which I've worn this in the summer, and it works totally fine. Uh, some people would deem it a little too strong for high heat, and I can understand where they're coming from because it is a pretty strong fragrance. But, you know, the milder fall, cooler summer type of weather, kind of that in-between phase, that transitional period, this stuff really works well. And that's kind of what I've been experiencing all over the place. And it was a great scent choice for me. During the day, Zaharoff Signature Rosé. And then when I got up the shower, I decided to roll with this once again. Bulgari Man Glacial Essence. As you can tell, that's the main fragrance I rocked throughout this week. It was easy to keep going back to because it's just so easy going. Easy is such a great descriptive word for this scent profile, for the wearability, just you name it. That word kind of fits in with this one. It's just really good stuff. Out the shower, Bulgari Man, Glacial Essence. And finally on Saturday, I saved what could potentially be the best for last in many ways. I went with some iris. With Prada Loam, I did bring it with me. I wore it all day long. I wore it out the shower. I wore it as my scent of the day. It's just such an enjoyable scent profile. Soapy Neroli and Iris. A little bit of peppery spice. Some woods. It's just so beautiful. I actually ended up refreshing about midway through my day just to enhance the scent bubble, kind of intensify the smell again. And then when I got the shower that evening, I decided to give myself a few more sprays because... It's not often that I wear it. I did bring it with me on the trip, and I felt, why not? Let's utilize it. Let's really enjoy it today. So all facets of my day, uh, I decided to roll with this. This is just such a wonderful fragrance, one of the better designer scent, floral scent DNAs ever created for men, in my personal opinion. It's just so good. This is the first iris fragrance that I kind of fell in love with and kind of sparked my intrigue to dive deeper into iris, whether it's designer or natural Florentine. I just love all the different facets of Iris, and this is the one that kind of started that journey. All day long for me personally on Saturday was the beautiful Prada Loam. Well, that was the rotation. A lot of repeats throughout the week. Kind of short and sweet for the most part. This isn't the longest of weekly rotation videos because I only brought so many fragrances with me. I was gone out of town for most of this week, uh, but I definitely enjoyed every spray from every single fragrance. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. What'd you guys wear this week? I know it's kind of late to the game because of the timeline. It kind of worked out to where I was a few days late with the week's rotation, but I always try to get it done at some point, and I appreciate all of you that did watch the video. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances I wore this past week and you give them a spray now, pretty confident you'll thank me later. Have a good one, guys.